Robin and Lacey, the Oklahoma City Police Department sent out a notice on October 17th to funeral homes saying, you know, these escorts are going to be coming to an end effective immediately. The only exceptions are for fallen officers or first responders or other high profile situations. The thing is about escorts. Yeah, uh, you never know how important it is till something stops. It's a service that funeral home owner John Ireland says honors a person's life. People are always coming up or they're coming up to the officers at a funeral and thanking them. Whether dad was a farmer for 50 years or maybe they retired from Tinker Air Force Base, they think it's a real tribute to their loved one being escorted to the cemetery by the police. That's something the president of the FOP agrees with and says officers believe continuing this service is their right. It also helps them financially. The professional officers who do this on a daily basis uh, with, with funeral homes around the city, um, some of them bring in a lot of money and supplement their income to the tune of $20,000 plus a year. Meanwhile, the Oklahoma City Police Department says it's just not safe to continue. We just kind of realized that nobody's really doing this anymore. We've always felt like this is, you know, a huge safety risk. We think that there is a way to accomplish off-duty escorts or funeral escorts and just do them more safely or in a different manner rather than just abolishing them altogether. The department says the solution will be without officers. We're willing to and have been in touch with some funeral services, some funeral homes to uh, work with them to see, you know, what solutions um, are out there for them. Um, it, it, they're just, it's just not going to be police officers doing those escorts anymore. And Major Stort told me that they have not had any major accidents here in the metro during funeral processions, but they have had some minor accidents with these private funeral processions in the past. I'm Jordan Ryan for Oklahoma Zone News 9.